as we sort of are wrapping up a generic sort of employee training that can be used as a foundation to the company that has asked me to do that and politicians that have sort of implored me to do that is that I have to say to you that there are things of course that we have not yet covered that are specific to your industry specific to the profession specific to the vendors specific to the negotiated contracts and agreements between your corporation and its vendors and the code of ethics of not only those companies that stock your shelves and have expectations of your employees but also your company and the code of ethics that you have and expectations of what employees do on the job and outside the job in uniforms when they're on their way home that present a professional brand of the corporation. In closing of this sort of hourish long training, two hours training, because we're allowing you the opportunity to stop tape and have discussions with people, have them take notes, is the aspect of industry standards and industry related federal laws beyond consumer rights. We also have to consider consumer infra information rights, which is that your employees do not have the right to tell anyone what a consumer buys in your store. We do this for two reasons, that people have consumer rights to privacy of their purchases, and regardless of who they might tell you that it's for, we do know that employees go home and have a little pillow talk, a little supper talk, and talk about their day, and talk about consumers, and talk about their experiences on their version of what happened. But at the same time, we have to be very cautious of them doing that in the social constructs of society, where someone walks in and says, who was that? What did they buy? We, of course, can be reminded quickly and easily of, I believe the film was called Enough with Jennifer Lopez, playing a mom who was hiding from an abusive husband. But we do have people in the community that are also trying to eradicate a litany of styles of abuses by both ex-family members, ex-colleagues or friends, or total strangers in their life. Forms of abuse we just cover really quickly besides sexual harassment at this point and industry laws that impact your ability to sell things and the corporate brand and the litigation that can ensue and things they've already done and lost in lawsuit is the reality that there are people who try to abuse with information and information gathering. And that information gathering can end up having that employee be aiding and, ab and abetting terms you have to teach the employees all kinds of other forms of abuse that they never probably considered in their life especially if they are not a person who's ever been abused or pestered and we loosely term harassed because most people don't have the true definition of harassment and a lot of women do not take their responsibility in what they try to blame other people for but what I'm talking about is there's also forms of, of abuse. There can be psychological abuse, emotional abuse, intellectual abuse, physical abuse, technological abuse, which is someone someone is in your company is unprofessionally, unethically hacking someone's phone or computer, causing them uh, strife, deleting things on their, on their company, deleting their social media accounts, interfering with their fonting, deleting those, and people do that in form of abuse. Hazing harassment doesn't even cover it, it's abuse. As well as sexual abuse, meaning if your person was given information on the type of food that you bought in a grocery store, a person who knows that information could literally take that product, open it carefully, taint that product, reseal it, replace it for what is in someone's vehicle, because we know that locks today on our vehicles are not the safest, or locks in our home are pretty easy to access, which we can learn from a 10-year-old child who is showing someone how to get into a through a window of a house to get locked out. But openly, what we're talking about is the devaluation, the dehumanization of people's privacy rights with regard to the spending of discretionary income or the conversations that they create and keep with your employees to be social creatures 
in this world of the marketplace of America.